Hey cuties! So welcome back to my channel and today I will be doing all the V-Day slash Valentine's Day themed goodies. We are going to, well I am going to get ready from a fresh face to makeup face finish and then do my hair. I think I'm just gonna straighten it and be really sleek for the date night and then choose an outfit, maybe one or two to give you guys some options and then walk you through some gift ideas. So here we go. shiny uh, Valentine's Day look and now I'm just gonna run a straightener through my hair so it's extra glossy. First though, gotta get my gizu. done my makeup and my hair then we are gonna go try some outfits on I think I'm gonna do three look number one we're looking at the very fuzzy pink purpley oversized slash a little bit cropped sweater from Zara and then we have these blush pink culottes from Topshop many moons ago but I think they still have them and then these trusty kitten heels that you saw also in the last video. And of course, can't forget statement earrings. Some of the benefits of this outfit is that I am wearing a really, really cozy knit sweater, but it still is girly and really fun and flirty for Valentine's Day because currently it is snowing outside as we speak. So 
probably need to be warm for Valentine's Day this year. And having culottes like pants still just make me feel extra warm, even though it's probably the same material as this, like you can find a skirt. And of course, kitten heels, a little bit safer for the snow, but you can also swap them up for some like heeled booties that are really cute too. So let's go on to look number two. So here is look number two. I am wearing all black with like some white embellishments. So this is like my favorite Isabel Moral blouse that I need to tuck in some more. Paired it with this Zara skort that you've seen in another video. I did put on some pantyhose slash black tights to go under the Stuart Weitzman boots because it is snowing outside right now, so I just want to be as warm as possible. I just really like how the skirt can go up and really high-waisted so that it gives you like a nice silhouette because this is kind of like a billowy top, but it just makes you look like you have very nice shape. This is if you're feeling a little bit edgier, but like still want to look really cute on Valentine's Day. Like if you're not into that like pink, um, red color scheme that like a lot of people are into, then this is the look for you. So this is the final look, look number three. And of course I had to, to include my Acne Studios red jacket, which apparently red is a very festive color on multiple occasions. I was a little bit worried that like I would be wearing it only for Christmas, but we have Chinese New Year, we have um, February, Valentine's Day, and then it will work in the summer too. So I got this leather jacket on to really be festive for Valentine's Day. Then I just got a plain silk cami, got a pendant, got my Majuri pendant, still got my earrings on because they work for everything. And then I have these pants that you guys really loved from Clamonico. They are like an off gray, almost white. So it's not too like stark Canada white and red combo, but it's a nice in between light color break. Got some kitten heels. So this is a kind of look that I would probably wear now. like. This isn't like a first Valentine's Day look, I wouldn't say. All right, so now we're gonna do some gift ideas. I'm gonna start off with his gift ideas. I always find that, like them the hardest, I guess, because shopping for hers are easier because I'm always shopping for myself. Um, this is number one. It's basically a mustache wax. I don't know how many of you guys have boyfriends, significant others, partners that are bearded or have facial hair but my fiance does and so i just like he's always like trying to like twist his little mustache into uh, a handlebar mustaches but his isn't long or thick enough yet so i'm just like i got him some wax to help him along with the process because doing it on his own is just not as fun and yeah called the bearded bastard so it's also like a funny gift so if you just started dating that person it could also just be like a jokes gift but like i didn't forget that it's valentine's day here you go so moving on is this sweater so it is a piece collective as you can see home is canada like quarter zip sweater with like the softest fleece lining inside and it's also perfect right now because it is the Olympics and so you're repping Canada with that like screaming red and white and also it will fit you too so I also like to get Trav gifts that like I can wear so I a lot of the times I got him like larger flannels so that I could wear as like oversized flannels when like I was obsessed with those and so sweaters are a really good idea to get your significant other too if you want to like kind of get yourself a gift too and while we're on that Peace Collective train I thought that 
I'd show you guys this adorable pillow. Like, look how cute it is. It's like a super easy gift to get someone because you don't have to find their size. Like, it can fit simply into a bag. Like, it's not an oversized gift that you have to like lug to the restaurant if you're just meeting there. But yeah, pillow is super, super cute. Check that one out. So next is a coffee maker, but not just any coffee maker, like a super cool coffee maker. But this Chemex styled one from Bodum. You can get it from Starbucks basically, and it's just so easy and it it can fill like two full coffee, coffee mugs. So like you both can make coffee together or if he lives alone, he can just like have like perfectly two cups in the morning. I just love this guy. It makes like the best coffee and it's very aesthetically pleasing. My last gift suggestion is always a mug. You guys always ask about this one. It is like this pebbled, gray pebbled mug with like the coolest shape and like a wooden bottom. Starbucks does have like a really black, all black one right now, but I still love this one and I believe they do have it in the stores. And I mean, it is just the perfect gift, especially if you're just starting to date or if you've dated for so long that you you just run out of gifts, <laughs> to ideas to give your significant other and you're like, hey, I really wanted cute mugs anyways and you guys can get matching mugs. That'd be really cute too. So that's my fifth and last gift idea for his. And now we're gonna move on to hers. Okay. Guys, if you're watching this, I know that you always ask me for like gift ideas for girls. I find Valentine's Day really hard because like you've just spent so much money on the, like over the holidays and you want to balance out by still getting them something nice but not breaking the bank again. So, I have some solutions for you and we are going to start off with bullet journal. This one is a white leather bound lux term. I think that's how you say it, Lux Term Journal. And it is just, I mean, it's my aesthetic if you follow me, you know. But um, it comes in a bunch of different colors and it has like, there's like a grid with bullets in it. I just think that it's like a great idea and a thoughtful idea to get your girlfriend or partner or whatever, like it could be even for a his gift. It is unis like a unisex gift, but I thought that I'd show you on like her side just because I want another one. And of course, with that, you can get her like a bunch of cute little pens from Muji. I just have like a black one. My favorite pen is the Muji Point 38 black gel pen. So I can just like doodle, write, draw. And next we have like my new favorite lingerie slash underwear brand. It's Mary Young. She makes just like the coolest and most beautiful design. So this is like one of her bra tops and like this is her logo in case you like ever see it in store or you can just order it online and then she also has like the comfiest bo like not boxers she also has the comfiest briefs so this is like a high-waisted thong um so like us girls now we wear like a lot of high-waisted pants and so High-waisted underwear is always really cool too. Third gift idea is actually this little guy that you saw in my makeup tutorial. This is the Bite, their new line of the Prismatic Multi-Stick and it is the one in Blush Pearl. But yeah, you can see how cool that is. Let's add a little bit more. So multi-stick means that they can use it as a lipstick eyeshadow, highlighter, like basically anything that you want. And I am obsessed with this color. You can see that it is basically all over my face. <laughs> Next up is this candle, or I mean any candle in general, but I'm obsessed with this one. This one is the Astier de Villati candle. Okay, last but not least, is a Fuji Instax camera. Okay, this is such a cute gift idea to give your partner for Valentine's Day because then you can keep all those Polaroid memories of like your relationship together for the rest of your lives. So yeah, I think that if Travis ever got me this camera, I would be so happy, but I already have one, so he can't give that to me. 
Okay guys, so that is the end of my Valentine's Day themed vlog slash video. I hope that you enjoyed it and you heard, you learned and you learned something useful that you could use this Valentine's Day. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time. And happy Valentine's Day.